Hey everybody, so today I have this A1534 early 2016 MacBook 12 inch. The, the fun one always to work on. It's in here for repair and uh, it's not charging. So let's go ahead and take a look and see really what the issue is. The port looks to be okay here, but you can't always tell right until you put it under a microscope or something. So and when I plug in, we're getting a completely dead signal. There's nothing going in the voltmeter. So the, I mean, the voltmeter isn't turning on. So that means there's some type of problem. Usually there's a problem with the actual port itself there. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look under the microscope and see. It does feel a little bit loose there. So maybe there's some type of damaged pin or something. All right, so you see this area? You see that? You can almost see the pin here. All right, that pin's damaged. For sure, you see the rest of them are silver. There's all these different uh, trace lines. And you see this at the very, very end. It looks like there's something in there. Something's a little bit damaged. There's a problem there. So we would definitely need to at least replace it. And um, we'll also take a look to see if there's any extra damage on it. But it looks like it mainly is just a replacement one. Now for these models, these are made are made like traps. When you open them, let me show you guys here. See this cable? When you move on this model, you see that? There's a cable and yeah, the trap back cable. So you definitely want to make sure that you remove that first and that you don't rip anything. It's really easy to damage stuff here. See, it's really ridiculous <laughs> why this is made like this. Uh, best way to go, obviously this is plugged in while you're doing it, so but at least this is kind of like a dead laptop anyway, so there we go. Just want to make sure that that keyboard connection is there, and then we're still not done yet because everything else is still connected. So this is what you have here, and uh, over here is your uh, USB-C connection. Uh, at least want to make sure there's no problem with the board as well, but I'm sure once you take out that connection, we're going to see that there's a little bit of damage. And again, this isn't the most fun thing to take out at all. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to at least remove uh, the connections that at least can detach this whole thing, right? So let's go ahead. We can take out this real quick. All right, now we can at least lay it somewhat flat here. <laughs> so uh, you always want to be careful of the LCD connection. We don't even want to mess with that because there's no reason to actually mess with it. So. Before we do anything else, let's just definitely remove uh, the battery connection. And then what we like to do is, uh, this is these are kind of like tablets. These are these are metal contacts here, so we can put something under it. So as you're working on it, you don't want to damage it. Something actually underneath this, so it's not going to be making any type of contact. So with metal, with metal. So now we can work on it safely. We just want to lift this up and make sure that we don't see any extra damage. I don't see really anything else here. And I believe to remove this, or at least to put it back in, we're going to have to take off uh, the screen hinge here, if I'm not mistaken. But let's see. I might be able to remove this without it, but... Oh, there we go. We'll be able to remove it. Okay, so maybe we didn't have to remove it completely. Okay, so I have out this right here. Uh, we want to go ahead, at least to take a look a little bit further, just to see, just to confirm the damage. It does look like it's a little bit bent, but let's go under the microscope real quick over here on this side you see the comparison between it see how the plastic is totally gone and this is damaged compared to the other side this is how it should look like and this is how it actually is and you can see this is held in by what by anything at all no so it looks like this is completely damaged here um looks like some type of physical damage so we can put it to the side now this is a little bit dangerous obviously to keep plugging it in so we definitely know this needs to be replaced and thank goodness it's just a removable part so let's just get a replacement part and then we will test it first and see if uh, if there's any other issues but it looks like this is the the reason and that's why I wasn't clipping on because you see this this also helps hold it in a little bit more it's going to give it that nice snug fit that's why I wasn't doing it before as well and obviously the pins are detached all right so I have the part here uh, let's go ahead and test it hopefully this is all that needs to be done it's very rare that this is the only thing ever especially on this small if you've ever worked on it, this model before you know how much of a pain this can be we have at least one in there. Now we can go ahead and test it out. Let's see if we get any voltage here. We should be getting something. Uh, the battery isn't plugged in, but it doesn't really matter. We should be getting some type of voltage at least this time. Okay. See that? That looks good. 19 volts in. Okay, I think we got a winner here. I think it's going to work. See that? All right. 
I'm not worried about it. We want to make sure this is at least up and running because obviously, like, you know, the battery's out and stuff. So I know one of these, when you plug these in, you see this here, you have to remove the palm rest. Uh, I mean, you have to remove the hinges of the screen because the hinges of the screen actually get in here and you're not able to put it in perfectly. I know I removed it one way, but putting it in is always a different animal there. So let me go ahead. We need to remove at least this part. I think I have to do it on both ends because, or at least this end here, because it just doesn't want to do it ever. So let's open it up because this is what you normally have to do for this one. All right. So this needs to come up a little bit. We just need to separate it a little bit enough so this could at least come up. We're doing the lazy way. Music to my ears. Okay, let's get it held in. I'm going to make sure we plug this in. And just let them all flap in there because that's how Apple designed it. But we're not questioning that. Alright, let's go ahead and see if this is going to pop on. And it should work now. Plug this baby in. Okay, we have go 19 and a half. Logo, please. Battery is charging, 19 volts. Oh, we saw it for a sec. Oh, and it worked. Ah. All right, all looks good. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on the A1534 early 2016 USB-C uh, port replacement. If you're lucky, it's only going to be a USB-C port replacement. It's very rare on these models, especially if there's any damage. You usually might see 5 volts, and that's not a fun time. These ones aren't a fun time to repair at all. But at least this one wasn't really too bad, obviously, doing the USB-C port. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.